What is up, people? It is Squirrely Nuts, and today I'm bringing you episode three of my favorite weapon reviews. And today we're gonna be playing some Halo Foe, bruh. And today we're gonna be reviewing the DMR, the my favorite weapon in the game. I know most people will be like, "Well, the battle rifle's so much better because it's a classic, bruh." But in truth, the DMR is actually more powerful. So shut your face hole. Now, before all of you get all up in my anus about, it's the, actually the designated marksman rifle, I realize that, but we're going to use DMR to keep it short and sweet and simple. Now, today we're going to be using the DMR with, well, <laughs> sorry, I'm in Battlefield and COD mode, there's no attachments. We're just going to be using the DMR with the... Uh, our armor ability is going to be the auto sentry, the little turret thing that put it down and help you. This thing's actually really useful. I know Promethean Vision's the most powerful, but this thing, it can help you when, like, it kind of acts like Promethean Vision, because it'll start to shoot at people, like, through walls for some reason, and it'll let you know when someone's there, when you might not have noticed otherwise, because this thing just, like, snaps to people. It won't get you many kills, but it can help you when somebody may have like a one-shot advantage on you. It shoots them once, and now it's even again. But, and then we're also going to be using Dexterity, which is probably the most powerful tactical package, I think. Yeah, that's it. And it allows you to reload and switch weapons faster, which will come into play now when you're using the firepower uh, perk thing. Which allows you to have two primaries, and the second primary we're going to be bringing to the Halo field is a assault rifle. Now before all of you go, oh, the assault rifle sucks, it's a pea shooter, blah 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 blah, you're not going to kill poop with that piece of crap. Well, actually it's not that horrible in Halo 4, it's pretty, it's, it's not the best, but it... Really, since the DMR is meant to be used at medium to long range, it, you'll get, like, shat on up close, and the assault rifle really helps with that. So you can just turn around and go pew pew, instead of having to slowly try and hit them with semi-automatic. The assault rifle's just there to get rid of that. And the grenade we're using is the pulse grenade, because that thing's a lot of fun. You can use stickies, but stay away from frags. Now... I'm not exactly sure on the damage stats on the DMR, but there is one thing I know about Halo in general, is that headshots don't matter until their shields are down, except on, like, two weapons, the beam rifle and the sniper rifle. Getting a headshot will one-shot kill them, not getting a headshot won't. But in Halo, hitting the body counts the same as the head until their shields are down. Once their shields are down go for the head with the DMR. Or if you're playing SWAT, which I had some SWAT gameplay in there, you just go for the head every single time because it's a one-shot headshot after there's no shields. But to get the shields down, it's three or four shots. I'm, I don't think range really matters, but I, I think there may be body multipliers. I don't know the damage stats because I'm too lazy to look them up. But from, It's normally a three or four shot kill to or hit to bring down their shields. And then, if you don't hit them in the head, it's two or three shots to bring them down after the shields are down. So it's still pretty powerful, but it's a lot easier to just pop them right in the don't ski with the one-shot headshot. And, I'm a, well, obviously, you want to use this. This is arguably the best weapon, like, loadout weapon in the game. The light rifle is personally... It's probably a little bit more powerful because it can be used in burst and single shot. But the DMR just, it has a lot more power and more ammo than the light rifle, which is important. And, I don't know, I just really liked it in Reach. It's It has a lot slower fire rate in Halo 4, so that's something you have to keep in mind. You have to be more accurate with it, which kind of sucks because I like to spray but I it's I do the best with it when I use it and I do the best with this class I've used a lot of ones I've used different ones with using like actual handguns but it works the best when you have a close range primary to back it up but 
Looks like this is coming to close. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my first Halo video, and this is Squirrely Nuts heading back to his tree.